welcome back to Factorio. I'm Hitman82, and this is episode 21. So, last episode, um, we were working on stuff and things up here. Um, I've watched a lot of videos since, and played a lot since I last recorded, and I was kind of on the cusp of saying, mm, turf this save game and start again. And I thought, well, let's see what I can do with what we got. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to expand the base, and... All my production lines here will probably all change and get ripped out. We'll need some space for more solars, so let's get started on that. So we'll grab a whole bunch of walls. Um, let's see here, leave some room for ammo. There we go. Is that uh, everything I need? Oh, that's way more walls than I need. All right, so what we're going to do, I'll show you the map, is got this oil down here. I haven't even tapped some, most of it yet. And we've got a nice oil patch over here. So eventually, we'll have the wall will go out here somewhere and basically encompass this area. And eventually, I'll probably have a train station in here somewhere. Now, so I'll need a smelting area and a place for solar and a place for all these factories. And I'm going to make what's called a bus, which is um, basically a string of different materials, like, for instance, four belts worth of iron, four belts worth of copper. And then when I want to put up some factory or assemblers to make a factory, then I can just pull them straight off of there. So that's the plan. You'll see. You'll see. So for starters, we're going to do what's called salami tactics, where we're just going to take a slice here and curve it out and defend it. And then we'll take another bigger slice and we'll just keep doing that. So what I'm doing here right now is just going to mark out kind of the vertical area here. Did I go far enough? Down? No, not even close. It's going to be a big area. And the, the critters are going to be like, oh, what you doing over here? Let me have a look. Well, I think I only have seven turrets. Can I build more? Oh, yeah. I'll build, I'll build a whole bunch more. Though I should be... Oh, uh, we're going to cancel that. Are we? We'll build some. I'll, I'll put a few around. Uh, we're going to start switching over to lasers, which means more solar, more accumulators. Speaking of solar, uh, I noticed I went and uh, I made a, a setup for making the accumulators and the solar panels. And then I totally forgot and went and did it again in a different spot. Oops, let's um, pull the double wall here as I go. So that was kind of... Uh, I noticed it last night when I was looking at the save game. I was like, wait a minute, I got two of these here. You know what, this might just be faster if I just run. So we'll probably grab this iron here at some point. Well, we'll definitely grab that iron at some point. Um, there we go. We'll also, yeah, I was thinking of just, you know, um, making a rocket and beating this one and then starting a new one. But yeah, we're going to keep going with what we've got here. It means the the critters are a little more evolved than they would be if I started a new game and and uh, changed the settings. But we're just going to... This is the world we landed on. This is what we're going to have to deal with, right? So hmm, this wall here, I think I'll rip out off screen because it takes a while to do so. I'll pull a little bit, bit of it away, but you see how slow that is? Yeah, I'll do that off screen, probably. Okay, so now we need some more turrets. Um, turrets. Got a dozen. Um, so that one can reach there. I just want them spaced enough that they'll kind of pull aggro. So if anything comes up to the wall, it's going to say, oh, look, a turret, and go after it. Um, and I would have to think even one turret's going to do the job at this point per section. Or at least it'll be enough of a warning that I can then go deal with it. There. Only want twenty five per. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll then go and we'll put lasers in between them. So while I'm still setting up my power, if I ran out of power, uh, it wouldn't kill us because we'll still have, you know, turrets out there that have ammo in them. Stick one here in the corner. Okay, let's get some ammo on this. Uh, 
Let's say 50 in that until I get the next thing here. You'll see why in a moment. Okay, so I don't need... Hmm, probably don't need this one now. Okay, well, and then I just messed up all my plan for <laughs> for the ammo, but that's okay. That's just being fussy. You know me, Mr. Fussy. I'll only put 35 in, I don't care at this point. Okay, because at some point, these will all be just interior base dressing. Uh, what do we have? Let's do research. Uh, okay, what did we just research? Um, I forgot what it was. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So rail signals and the rail chain signal, we'll research those now. I don't know how long it'll be till I start making it trains and stuff. Really it it that happens when we're kinda getting low on resources. Iron especially. Uh, we've got a nice big copper patch there, so it'll be for iron. Probably down there to the southeast, if I had to guess. Well, let's get this sorted first. Yak 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 instead of actually work work work. Alright. Oh, and see, I was going to take 50 out of that one. Oh, here we go. All right, so the base is, nah, it's somewhat defended. So the next step will be, hmm, I guess I'm going to put in what's called the main bus. So you shall see. Now, I watched Catherine this guy's video and learned a lot watching her video. So if you haven't done so, um, yeah, I would suggest going and watching hers if you're actually looking to learn how to play. Or eventually, I'm sure I'll show you kind of the same thing, but it might be a little bit longer. Okay, so let's see. This one, this is going to be my iron line. And this one will be copper. Oops. This is going to take a lot of belts, so I'll have to get my belt production going. Alright, so... Um, Keep the walls. I'm gonna keep these turrets and stuff in place because if they get in here, you know, into this area and came up here, then at least I've got interior defenses as well. Just gives us another layer. Um, now I mentioned about the solar and the accumulators doing duplicate. Like here's here's the um, accumulators. We're gonna grab 50 of those. But you go up here, and there's the solar one right here. Grab 50 of those. And you go up here and. Oh, where is it? Over here, see? I got a whole nother setup up here. Derp. That's okay. Well, let's get rid of these walls for now. And who are all that up? No, oh, don't go dropping stuff on the ground. Come on now. Get rid of it. Um, oh, oh well. Put that light somewhere else down there. Okay, we got much in here. No, we can hoover that one up and I'll hoover that one up. Clean up the mess a little. And speaking of mess, I got a mess here. You know what? I'm not gonna bother saving these. When I need them, I'll just go and get more. Don't need that on me. All right, we got some steel. I'm gonna probably need more steel, and got lots of copper, lots of iron. Should probably grab a little more of each. And do we have belts somewhere producing? Just here. Um, geez, Hitman, you don't even know your own base. Well, it's been—it seems like forever since I've last played. It hasn't been that long. And we'll grab a few more. Eventually we're going to have 10 of these reds, 12 of these greens, uh, probably 20 or 30 of these labs, 20 anyway to start with. So we'll um, get our base research going, but we're going to expand it. And um, I don't know how many blues, we'll have lots and lots of blues. So that means mega setups. Alright, so we're going to have our bus here. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what we're doing here. Uh, we're making our bus, which is going to stretch out um, east to west. And then when I build on factories, and by factory I mean a group of assemblers that make certain products. So I'm going to see, sometimes they say a factory is the overall thing. You're making an overall factory, but and we're going we're gonna to use the terminology a little different. Okay, so we're going to want, uh, for instance, um, green circuits. We'll, we'll, 
we'll put a line of them down here, um, a, a line of pipes and a line of um, uh, conveyors or like the conveyor belts. We'll have all that set up and they'll all go perpendicular to the bus and you will see why. You know, what? I'll just be quiet and do it. How's that sound? I heard you. I heard you say that. Um, before I do so, I really need to check on my power, make sure I'm okay on that. Um, 22 engines and 101. Okay, so 22 times 510 kilowatts. Uh, okay, so 11 megawatts, it'll handle that just from steam engines alone, which is about what we're using. And then, okay, we're all right for now. Uh, did I grab, I grabbed a few belts. So we need to get iron plates on this, and we are going to need a whole bunch of splitters. I'm thinking the first thing I'm going to have to do here is get my um, conveyors going. Okay, so we're going to need a whole bunch more of everything. There we go. Let's see what we have for research. Yeah, we could speed up research 40%. Sure, why not? Boy, I'm going to need some more lights going. Uh, so we have a basic setup here where I could actually kind of steal things off the line. So I wonder if I should, what am I going to do then? Do, do, do. We need to do, um, okay, I need some red handle inserters. Wow, I should just go off screen and build a whole bunch of stuff just in my inventory. But see, that's the thing. We don't really need to. We've got access to all these factories. Like, I've got all these greens going along here. Well, I could just stick a box down here at the end. So why don't we do that? And then that's going to speed things along. Uh, let's do this. We don't want it to grab from there. It'll leave just a little bit of a buffer there. So we'll grab from... Hmm. You know what? Never mind. Get out of the way. There we go. And, well, it's going to have reds going. We don't want to collect the reds, so we'll just collect greens. And where is it? I'm going to limit the chest so it can only make 200. Put 200 in, and then after that it'll it'll leave it alone. We've got batteries on the line. We'll scoop up some, some batteries, and the reason why is to make some more laser turrets. Okay, there's five of those queued up. Okay, so our first thing we need to do is probably, uh, like I said, get the, the belt situation sorted. And since I'm expanding this way, all right, so we've got iron, copper, steel, plastics. Um, we're going to leave room for another bus. I don't know what at the moment, but it wouldn't hurt. And pipes, we're going to have to put some pipes through here. So do I have pipes here, underground pipes? Yes. Okay, so we'll probably have a couple underground pipes. Okay, so that means our factory can start for circuits somewhere over and we'll call it here. I don't want to get too congested here, so we're going to do this. All right, so we're going to need um, two making wire. Let's make sure I do this right. To make wire and then is that right? No, oh my gosh, I've done this like a whole bunch of times already and I can't remember how to do it now. Okay, so that, that, and that. Okay, so the first one's going to, these ones are going to make wire. So copy paste that, and these will make circuits. So copy paste that. So I'm holding my shift and then right clicking. See how it goes green around it? copy it and then you left click to paste. So that makes things faster. Speaking of fast, we're going to want fast inserters. Um, doesn't really matter where. And then we're going to have them output to both of these. Okay, and then they will output to a belt. And whoops, do they need iron? They do. Okay, let's turn those around because those will feed the whoops, feed the iron in. And then we will output with the long handled inserters, like so. So that means we'll have an iron belt coming by this way, and 
green circuits going that way and copper coming this way. So we need to get some iron under this belt just to get me started. So let's just do that. Um, splitters. I need lots of splitters. And some undergrounds. Another five of those. Okay, as soon as that one finishes, I'll cancel the uh, laser turrets for now. I can just uh, put the parts in a assembler and build them that way. Okay, so splitter. Come on, splitter, hurry up. Oh, I should go grab some circuits. Is that still pulling them off of there? Got 200 there yet? Eh, just about. I'll grab a bunch. Okay, so let's cancel these and add them in again. And the reason why is because we don't need to make all those circuits now. There, see, that's going to be faster. Well, let's make another... Uh, do I have a gate somewhere? I thought I saw a gate. Inventory mess. Mm, no gate. I'm gateless. Oh well. And we can put the wall up there and the turret to get all that stuff out of our way. There we go. Okay, so let's... We're gonna split the iron and the copper off of here to feed that, so... Mm. How am I going to do this? Like so. And then we shall bring that out. Mm. I don't think I'm going to do it that way because that's just going to lead to problems. So what we're going to do is put in a filter inserter. So I don't want the copper to be pulled off yet. Yes, I do. I'm changing my mind because I don't have a good plan yet. <laughs> there you go. Word to the wise, plan, plan your dive and dive your plan. All right, and we'll just take it through that opening there for now. Whoops, settle down, save game. Um, this will all get fixed soon for now. We want that to pull off the iron. And, and this one will pull off the copper. And we'll do this, and this, okay, and then we're going to do what's called balancing, so this eventually will have a whole bunch of iron inputs. Until then, uh, let's see, like that, all right, yes. Now what this is going to do is split all that iron onto uh, four belts. Um, I think I made this longer than I need to, didn't I? Four, six, seven. Nope, I did it right. And pull these off of here. So if you if you're learning the game, this is something that you're gonna find useful, I think. This setup, this thing right here, um, if you're gonna do the main bus system, you gotta know this off the top of your head. And you will. So, oops, oh my gosh, now I need power. Power cable or power lines. There we go. Lots of steel. Okay, we've got very little copper and iron coming down through here, so we're gonna have to sort that. I wonder if I can. Maybe I should be pulling from further up. Nope, the iron's all feeding through. I think once the green circuits, once that box fills, it's almost full. And then the green circuits back up, they're going to let a lot more copper and iron go by, so that'll sort that. In the meantime, we need to put some power over here. There we go, and you see how eventually this should all go on the four belts. See that? Alright, that is pretty key to what we're doing. Let me see here, how are we doing for time here? Well, we are just about out of time for today. But maybe we got enough time just to oops, we'll put some more mediofers in here. So my plan then is to get some iron and co uh, copper feeding onto these belts, and then down to here to make circuits. Hmm. I'm almost wondering if I'm doing this kind of backwards and that I shouldn't sort my iron and copper first. So let me think about that. But this shows you the direction we're going here. Um, 
we can get way more iron and way more copper off of what we've got for resources now. And we got lots of coal here for fuel. So we may have to just start cutting some trees out of here and fill this full of... I'll have to start putting all the mines side by side because my deposits aren't very big to get the output that I need. Oh, speaking of which... I'll have to sort that stone if I think of it. Okay, so I'm making bricks, by the way, and they'll be coming into play soon, I think. Making paving and stuff. So, next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to do a major iron and copper expansion because I want to start filling these belts. Uh, what I wanted to show you today was how the bus is going to work. And this is how you put these splitters on the start and then it splits it into four. And then when I want to pull a some iron for instance off down to there I'm gonna to have to do it up here and then it goes straight down to it so I'll show you how to do that either next episode or the one after I imagine so tune in for that you're gonna see you're gonna see some new stuff uh, I've been plodding along without knowing what I'm doing um, I finally I've got a plan so the plan the, the plan has been planned we will dive the plan now so tune in for that and I'll see you next time bye for now